This is a transformational educational experience, College of the Atlantic, with, without a doubt. But you see students who spend six, eight, ten weeks out on Mount Desert Rock over the summer, and that is like a, a rapid uh, transformation like that. What, what is it? What, oh, yeah. oh, oh, it's news to me. So no, it's extraordinary. Yeah. Uh, Welcome uh, back to The Sea Has Many Voices, and my guest this week is Dr. Darren Collins, the president of College Atlantic. I'm Greg Stone, and we're uh, continuing our discussion here on the shores of Frenchman's Bay, and I want to find out what's happening at my beloved Mount Desert Rock. This is uh, uh, where I started my career in marine science many years ago. Yeah, so um, yeah, I'm glad you asked because you know, College of the Atlantic, we're on Frenchman Bay here, about 38 acres or so, but part of the campus is 25 miles out into the Gulf of Maine on this three acre hunk of granite called Mount Desert Rock. And Lighthouse was put up in 1848 and uh, Keeper's House and uh, the college uses Mount Desert Rock and also Great Duck Island as a platform for doing marine mammal and ornithological and historical human ecological research and the indigenous scholars program that we talked about earlier, you know, my intent is to get those students spending time in the same place where you cut your I, teeth. I literally yeah. cut my teeth out there. It's like, <laughs> the thing about the rock, we call it the rock, is it's like being at sea, but without, the, without being seasick, without the risk of dying from drowning, without yeah. all these other things, it's a rock pinnacle it comes out of the water at we, the 50 fathom line, so yeah. 50 times 6, what yeah. is that? It's 50 times 6. 300. 300. So a 300 foot line of depth, and it's a particularly interesting area oceanographically because yeah. of that, and it just happened to intersect, so yeah. uh, you, the college owns it now, right? We do, we so do own a, it. It's and a research station. Yeah, and, and since 1972, um, you remember Scott Kraus, oh, yeah, right, at course, the yeah. New England Aquarium, another COA alumnus. Um, since 1972, like we've been, you know, doing experiential education and research out at, on that. I ran that for two years, you know. I, I, I know. Was, I was yeah. a yeah. pseudo director, yeah. yeah. Not pseudo, I was a director, but I was a kid. Yeah. When I was a student, I was very terrestrially focused, so I, I always uh, was a little nervous about The Rock, but since coming back as president, I've spent a lot of time out there and I swear there is um, this is a transformational educational experience College of the Atlantic with without a doubt but you see students who spend six eight ten weeks out on Mount Desert Rock over the summer and that is like a, a rapid uh, transformation like that what well, is the, what, oh, yeah. oh this it's is news to me so no it's extraordinary yeah so you bring classes out there or? Well, we do bring classes short you know short oh, you're term, talking about the research but I'm talking about the research that happens that is student designed you know but guided by our faculty now Sean Todd at one point it was Steve Katona both a mentor to both of us um, but just generations of students who have experienced working, living, and doing research out at a place like Mount Desert Rock, there is, you won't find it at any other place in the, in the country in terms, of, uh, um, in terms of the world of higher ed. And I say that kind of proudly as an alumnus and president, but it is. It's, that's a great asset. That's a great it's asset. It's an amazing out, asset, right? yeah. I kind of take it a little bit for granted because I, I'll tell you the quick story of how I got that job too. Yeah. When I got here, uh, I had a work-study job, I had my little financial aid package, and yeah. I was real nervous about yeah. making it in college, because I hadn't done so well in high school. Yeah. So I had my job was cleaning the chemistry lab, yeah. which was in the building burned down. Yeah. And I was so nervous about making sure I did everything right, I overdid everything. Yeah. So I completely took the chemistry lab apart, <laughs> washed every test tube, every glass jar, I lined them up in the, in the, in the cabinets, and I just, this place shined. Yeah. And one day this guy walks in with a big with a beard, yeah. Katona, I'd never met him. Yeah. But he walked in, he said, Who are you? 
Right. And I said, I'm, he said, are you the one that's responsible for this laboratory being yeah. as clean as it is? And I said, yes, that's me, sir, <laughs> or, or Dr. Cadone or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And he said, what are you doing this summer? Right. <laughs> and I right, said, right. well, I've got a job washing dishes at a resort, right. which paid pretty well, and it was part of my financing. Yeah. And he said, I've got a job for you. I need this research station. I need someone to run it. I said, what yeah. does it pay? Right. I said, $1,000 a summer plus your room and board. And I said, well, can I think about it? Yeah. My other job was $2,000 for the yeah. summer. And I got, as soon as I left, I said, you dummy, that's why you're here. Okay. Don't. <laughs> yeah. So the next day I went back to him and I said, I want the job, thank you, but why are you offering it to me? Because I, I've never even seen a whale. Yeah. I didn't, and he yeah. said, if you can organize this chemistry lab, right. you yeah. can do this job. You can do the job. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. And so now there are like five decades of Greg Stones who have, used Mount Desert Rock as a platform. Um, the, the greatest story, a week or two ago in the New York Times, there was a piece on um, the possible finding and location of Amelia Earhart's plane off of Kiribati, right? Yes, I, I, I'm, well, <laughs> I'm all entwined in that whole right. thing. We can talk about that. Okay, but what, the woman who's leading the project is a COA alumna. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a few years ago, you might remember. She's working for Ballard? Or? Alice, yeah, Allison Fundus, her name is. Oh. Yeah. And you, uh, two or three years ago, remember down in the, um, the Danger Islands, you heard about the, a, a discovered penguin colony. They found, through doing drone research, um, a new emperor penguin, penguin colony on the, on the mm, Danger Islands. You might have heard about that, yeah, but anyway. So was that her? COA, no, different COA, oh, different COA alumnus. Okay. This, um, this guy, Alex. Um, Alex is going to kill me now. Alex, uh, it'll come to me. Yeah, but yeah. he cut his teeth on, on wow. Mount Desert Rock. And you this and Scott. This is so Crow, much fun. Yeah, and, and so it continues to be this amazing platform for students who wind up doing yeah, just extraordinary me. things. It yeah. changed me. It gave yeah. me that my first... Borowitz. Alex Borowitz. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. okay. Sorry, Alex. Um, and I know you invited me out there this last year. Please continue to invite me. I will come. We'll get you when back. I, when there's we'll a, get you back when there's there. a moment yeah. that, uh, that yeah. will co be coincide. So what do you have, do you, any plans you'd like to announce on the show or just that it's there and it continues? No, it's there and it's, it's unique. And it's a, a definite, like you described it as a unique asset to this college. It's a unique asset for understanding human ecology and there is no better bellwether for climate change in the North Atlantic than on Mount Desert Rock. So part of the Indigenous Scholars Program, one reason why College of the Atlantic makes sense as a home institution for a program like that is because of Frenchman Bay and the Gulf of Maine and places like Great Duck Island and, and Mount Desert Rock. Um, well, th Darren, thank you for, uh, you've stimulated those memories in my mind from Mount Desert Rock. Yeah. Uh, very pleasant ones, and uh, thank you for for being on the show. And uh, but can I ask you to come back on the show? And I'd, I'd I'd like to even maybe consider doing a series on the college or this area or something. Because, uh, but anyway, yes, you can ask me. Great. Back. Okay, you will be back. All right. <laughs> I All will right. most definitely All be right. back. Right. Thank you, Greg. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Good. <laughs>